What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another gameplay. Uh, in this gameplay, we are going to be playing in the Mutthead Weekly 1001K Tournament. And to this point, you know, I've won my first three matches. I'm feeling really good on the game at this current time and moment. Um, it was a day right after a patch. Patch came out on the, I think Thursday it was, the 4th. This is the day after Friday Night Football. And we are in the semis, going to be playing spamming buttons. Um, I didn't live comm this. This is going to be a post comm. I want to watch the gameplay. I want to break down what I saw, what I didn't see, what plays I could have made, all that good stuff. Hopefully, you guys can get a lot from this video. If you do enjoy it, please consider leaving a like, comment, subscribing, all that good stuff. Um, and yeah, man, I got more gameplays in store for you guys. It's been a nice couple weeks of a competitive Madden um, coming up, you know, last week, this upcoming week. Ladders for the new wildcard tournament are coming out. And, you know, there's a new tourney coming out soon, too, where eight players are going to be playing in it. So a lot of good things for competitive Madden on the way. It's always fun when there's a mutt head. Um, you could get extra gameplay from that. New patches, new cards, all that good stuff are going to be in this gameplay. And like I just said, be on the tune for more comp gameplays. And you never know. I think I might have a Tip Tuesday video for you guys. Um, there's a play I run here. I'll talk about it, obviously, in the video a couple times. And it's a really good play out of bunch. So, um, you know, if you want a tip Tuesday on that or a tip Thursday, one or the other, let me know in the comments, man. Uh, and I got you with that. It's a nice one. Play Tutty out of bunch. But with all that being said, let's get into the gameplay itself. So, guys, we are playing Spam and Buttons. This is my Madden Bull teammate. We've probably played a few times now in Mutthead and just in general. I have a couple gameplays on my channel. Um, and, you know, he is one of the very few people that still runs trips, but he runs it very effectively um, and he has had so much success this Madden year on uh, you know in trips and all the tournaments and all the FNFs and all the money games he's played he's had a lot of success man and you know it's due to his offense and you know he's not the worst on defense he is really comfortable in this 335 wide and this is a meta you guys will start seeing more and more often after the new patch a lot of people are hopping in wide why because for one it's good run D um, you don't have to worry about shooting gaps, uh, block sheds, all that good stuff versus the inside zones, the bases, all those type of shotgun runs. And second, you get great coverage out of it. You could scream. And the big thing is no more delay fades. The thing that really did kill wide before was delay fades. And now you don't have to worry about that. As right here, we are going to hit this nice post route to Jerry Rice. And um, I had hosts in this game. You're going to be able to tell, uh, you know, by the way he's playing defense. He's kind of slow with his adjustments. Uh, like, he just looks out of it, not like, you know, insulting him or anything, but I have the host advantage. And I'll try to, you know, point out a couple times, like, yeah, right here, this is where I, my host advantage definitely helped me out, and vice versa, you know, all that type of, you know, small stuff that you may not pay attention to. I'll try to, you know, shout it out. But if you couldn't tell, guys, we are back in Colts, a uh, good old bunch offset. And, you know, what I really do love is audibling this tight. I need more plays. I need to audible it to it more. Um, I was doing a really good job in this FNF of keeping my opponents on their toes. It's right here. We are going to try to hit this low ball uh, wheel route to the left. That's one of my best reads in the red zone. And it's a really good play. You're going to see that a lot um, out of me, out of, you know, a lot of other people. Audible that tight and run that little wheel route concept to the left. I believe I'm going to try to run it again. And, you know, spamming, you know, he knows about this play, I'm assuming. He always has great coverage out of send three type of looks. He's right here. We had a wide open touchdown. I'm pretty sick. I'm going to rewind it real quick. Peep this guy right here. I don't know if his user would have got there or not. I don't think so. No way at all. Definitely missed a wide open read. But, you know, I'm glad I've seen that now. I, don't, I couldn't remember if I had seen that in the game or not. Um, but there's a reason I ran that play, obviously. I ran that play because the play before that play, he gave me a look that I liked, and I simply quick hacked this right here. We are going to get lurked. And, uh, you know, that was just a crazy good lurk. I don't know what else I could have done. Maybe thrown it a little bit earlier, lowballed it, but I really wanted to get the first. It's right here. I'm going to replay it. Um, you know, just nothing was open. He had a crazy lurk with Cam Chancellor. And I kind of think I'm there, but, you know, just that's why I use your Cam Chancellor, man. So a very fast start, just completely halted, is right here. Get used to this a lot, man. Um, spamming buttons, I don't know if it's only versus me or in general. He, like, that streak is always open. And I feel like such a bot every time I give it up. 
But in reality, it's like, you know, um, I moved my guy out all the way there. It's on the short side. You know, at that point, you got it, man. You obviously know something. You obviously have the greatest time in forever because literally no one else in trips abuses that besides him. He even has an ability for it. You saw Randy Moss light up on the outside right there once he had caught it. It's right here, man. You're going to see a lot of cover. Uh, you're going to see a lot of 146. And you're going to see a lot of 335 wide in this gameplay versus trips. If anyone has like a bag on trips, let me know, man, because trips, you know, the good, the, like, you know, I played a couple people running trips and, you know, sometimes I just bag them up, but it's like spamming buttons and a few other people that just, they have really good trips, man. I don't know what it is or what they do, but uh, it's really effective. It's right here. Once more, he's going to hit this flat route. Could we get a big hit? Is that a first? And it ends up being a first down to T.Y. Hilton. 96 speed. Can't even complain. I uh, try to get a big hit and, you know, stop him backwards, but he just fell forward. Is right here. We can still hold the door, man. One thing about Pats and trips in general, man, if you are playing it, uh, just remember, if people are running Pats playbook, their red zone oftentimes is going to be really, really bad. Is he right here? This, I don't mind this. I like this a lot, but the thing is he has Josh Jacobs there. I don't know why. Shout out my, my, my guy, Josh Jacobs, for the Raiders. See right here, rocking the headband. But right there, you need Derrick Henry, you need Marshawn Lynch, you need some type of trucking back on that heavy Patriots set. That is one thing I actually do like about the Patriots playbook and the red zone out of it. But everything else, it's a struggle, man. Is right here, you're going to see he's probably going to run base, and he does. And we get, you know, a lucky stop right there. Honestly, uh, it was looking wide open. I didn't have a good run D at all. I got no sheds at all. It's right here, here we go, man. This is where we could easily come back in the game. Mike Haynes, five yard vert, six foot three frame. Boom, get us our red zone stop back. So, right now, we are fair and square, even, except, you know, we probably just wasted four minutes of time, essentially. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm glad I got my stop back. It's right here. We are going to run a nice little concept. Um, he loves to run coverage, man. He loves to send two, he loves to send three, even dating back to last year. He will occasionally blitz. But when people blitz out of wide, it's so obvious. There's a really crazy tell. They like line their user up immediately down. It's right here. You saw what he did. He immediately lined his user up down to get in that hover spot. Um, and, you know, I'll try to point it out in the future. But, you know, obviously just remember not everyone is going to give away that tail. But, yeah, man, I've been playing pretty good on offense. You know, not bad saying, you know, it's a hard thing to do in this game. It's literally the easiest thing ever. But, you know, me, I try to run my offense a little bit different than some other people. Rather than running verts every play, double posts every play, I like to mix it up. He's right here. We try to go for a cover two, uh, cover three bomb, but he actually has really good defense. I may have had A late, but, you know, um, he just had, you know, the, con the pocket contained. And, you know, he has some good pass rushers out there. Aaron Donald, I believe, too. So, you know, we'll just take our one-yard sack. It's not really a big deal. It's right here. Another good route combo. He wants more sense five. We have R1 open. We have the post open. So I hit the post. And we get a bad throw. You know, I don't know if I could have. I don't think you could lead that pass for like a cover three bomb. But you can throw it right under the third or like right near the third and undercut it and catch it. So, um, you know, nice play right there. We got a bad throw on the low pass. But, you know, it was still a dot. There's right here. We're going to try to roll out. I don't think this is a play call, especially with like, you know, no yards. Uh, you know, I don't have that many yards. Only 27 yards to score a touchdown. That's more of a play you run, you know, if you have a lot of space rather than running it near the red zone. So um, that just wasn't the play call. He did scream at us too. So you never know. I could have maybe had something open, but that pressure came in. Yeah, he's been sending a lot of send five this whole drive. Once more send five. He gets an A gap. He gets a B gap, but we're fine. We break a tackle with Jared Cook. Jared Cook is like, he's a baller, man. I sometimes don't like, you know, the way he gets rack animations. Uh, or the way he breaks tackles. Sometimes I feel like he doesn't break tackles at all. But, you know, he is a baller. It's right here. We're going to quick hike something. This is not the play call. I really wish I didn't quick hike this. And see right here, nothing was open at all. We end up taking a sack. And that's a bad sack too. And he has a new D Ford. And D Ford is a glitch in Madden. I really do want to try him out. But I believe he's going for a lot of coins. And there are just so many good pass rushers that, you know, can get the job done. Is right there. You saw... Really nothing was open. Great defense. More of a bad play call on me. Right here, we are going to try to hit a rollout. And he's not sending five right here. You could just tell um, his user was backed up. And I missed the read to running back Cordell Patterson. I stood in the pocket, stood tall. Easy laser because he was going to have to choose. The crosser, which was manned up. But I do have a route tech there. 
Um, and that would have been just a 50 50 ball, but you know, he, uh, or the wheel route. So, you know, I should have stayed in the pocket um, instead of rolling out. It would have been a nice, easy read. And essentially, I could have got some of the yardage back on this third and 17. It's right here. I may, I really don't have anything, man. I don't have anything at all. That was just not a, you know, there's nothing you could do on a third and seven um, in this type of space, this type of area. People are going to run zone drop D. I just decide, you know what, I'm going to take my three. I'm going to be smart about it. You know, if I get sacked on first down and then I have a bad play on second down, third down, I'm pretty much just looking to get it to fourth down to kick three. So uh, third and longs are very tough in that scenario. So, man, I don't feel like I feel it really good right now. Uh, unfortunately, our offense is stalemated around, you know, the red zone a couple of times. But, uh, you know, we we I feel like we have a great opportunity at our hands to make it to the FNF finals. Like I was saying, I was playing with a lot of confidence in this gameplay. And just in general, I've been playing better. Um, the boards have been tough. I don't you know, I just it's so tough to keep playing over and over and over again. I'm not the type to, you know, play like 10 games type of thing I, I like to play one game you know and pace myself out it's right here we send the pressure and no one comes home once more ty hilton on that sneaky little flat years prior that flat probably gets you two three maybe four or five yards this year it really does get you a lot of yards even on a stock default cloud so um you know that's really what makes trips pretty annoying to stop because when you send heat when you send pressure I'm not going to hard flat that left side. You know, that's a very, you know, uh, tough spot to, you know, play coverage against. It's right here. He's going to try to go deep, and he's got it for a tutty, and then he's going to stun on us. I sent the pressure, and he sent out five, and that's just a new move by me, not playing trips enough, not running one, four, six in a minute to where, you know, I didn't get any pressure. I believe he did send five out, and we got zero pressure. I'm going to rewind it real quick. So right here, look at this. We sent five. Um... A user gets in the box as well, and he sends out five. And I know what I did. I bumped Sean Taylor. Essentially, that left corner is supposed to come in, or a right, you know, linebacker is supposed to come in. So honestly, I'll say, you know, it, there's nothing fluky about that play, but the play definitely didn't go as designed. I was pretty frustrated about that. That no pressure came in on a send five or send out five look. Um, you know, that pressure should 100% came in. And excuse me when I say I actually sent six. So that makes it even more, you know, sickening. I'm not too mad at it. I already know what happened. I ran into my linebacker on the right with my user, and it kind of just delayed the whole process. So remember when I was talking about the host, guys, the West Coast host, this is where it's going to come in handy. Right here, this whole sequence is literally me quick hiking and him not being able to adjust on top of the fact that I'm on West Coast. Um, so I could tell he, def he was definitely frustrated in this time of moment. So here, running a nice little combo. Um, I got a couple players open. I had the post open and to end up deciding, you know what, let me just take a couple yards with Josh Allen, go to the next play, get this quick hike off. See right here, one, two, you know, three. And then I motioned him out. If I didn't have to motion him out, it would have been so much faster. It's right here, I kind of got messed up. Um, I think, I don't even know what Diablo was in, but it looked like he wanted to match on and pick that little out route off. That was essentially my main read the whole play. I had end up having the post open, but the thing was I drifted so far to the left that it was not going to really matter. As right here, send out five, he gets the pressure and a nice lurk from him. I had the zig route wide open. Usually people snap on the zig and spam in just regarded the, you know, more developing deep play. Um, great user right there. And that's one thing I got to work on. I've been throwing at some people's users as of late. It's right here. Once more flat route. Good hit. Right here. He's going to audible the bunch and he has a lot of time. Ends up hitting that running back out route, but I'm fine with it. He gets what? Like one or two yards. Right here. I could have sworn I put my left guy in a cloud and I just didn't. It would have been pretty good defense if you ask me. That And then just ends up being a wide open player to Jared Cook. Wide open post. So what I initially ran right there was a 20 cloud on Cam, um, a vert hook on Mike Haynes, and a purple, just what I ran right there. But, um, you know, the cloud didn't register, and then boom, he gets a nice little quick hike. I wasn't able to move my half to the left, and, you know, just like that, he's going to go up 14-3 and get ball at half. And, you know, this game is looking very, very rough on us. Um, I don't know what's happened, man. I don't know how I only had three points. This is easily an offensive Madden, like the craziest offensive Madden of all time, honestly. Super easy to score. 
And, you know, I just got to work on, you know, every drive got to be seven. You know, we could settle for threes here and there, but every drive has to be points at, like, you know, at the bare minimum. To be fair, I got stopped twice in the red zone. One got held to three, and another, you know, I threw a pick. So, I mean, that's just what I got to work on is my red zone and, you know, getting sevens on every drive, not rushing myself. But here we go, man. Let me know if you want to tip Tuesday on this play. This play is insane. We unfortunately overthrow the first one, but wait till you see this next play, guys. So what I do, guys, I put that tight end on a streak. Crazy cover three beater. I'll drop a tip Tuesday on this if you want. Boom, he manned up. Uh, Mike Canes with it. Mike Canes is not as fast as Randy Moss. Can we get out of there? Don't get caught, Randy Moss. I was hyped after that play, man. And then we got to do our little Randy Moss dance. Uh, I don't know what celebration that is or if he did it in real life. But, man, I don't have sideline dead eye. Crazy swerve. We may have to run it back one time. Mans was in backed up cover three. Manned up Randy Moss. The third got sucked in. Click on. Nice little swerve action. And we were gone, man. That play is insane. Might have to post that to the TikTok. And once more, check out Randy Moss doing his signature. Right here, guys. This is where we got to get our stop. Right side completely open. He playmakers up. I have a bad user, but that's why you don't use Dan. We come in free. Sean Taylor. And then he goes no huddle. Spamming loves to go no huddle, even from last year. Even like two, three years ago. We send the pressure this time. And oh my God, he has another touchdown. But no, sir. Lawrence Taylor is on that ass. Dan Marino. And right here, I really do wish I didn't call a timeout. Um, it was, you know, to go into 146, but, you know, I don't know, man. I probably would have called a timeout again because he did have two things open, back-to-back -back plays. So it was a good timeout to, you know, reset and, you know, get our defense back. But this is where I need the pressure, and the pressure just doesn't come in. Easy read. I don't know what, where Ronnie Lott was. I think I manned him up to the tight end. Um, ah, that just sucks. And boom, we're going to have to use another timeout, man. Back-to-back -back plays, use timeout in the second half. Oh, this is where it was just, I was so sick, man. Because, you know, I called the timeout there because he could easily go into, you know, 146. And, you know, I mean, he could easily audible down against 146 and boom. I give up a first down that way. I'd be sick about it, but it is what it is. It's right here. We're going to have pretty good defense. I had to jump to the right flat and he put a curl on the field. We had great defense right there, but just an even better play. Something I was expecting, just a simple tight end uh, streak. Excuse me, curl. I said tight end flat. It was a tight end curl, just a simple play. I had no zones on the right. I probably should have manned up the tight end or something with that safety on the right. But, uh, you know, he just took advantage. He was reading my defense perfectly. Just a great play by him. And here he goes, chewing clock. This is where it hurts when I only have one timeout. And base is starting to pop off. You know, it, first half, there was no run lanes, nothing. I'm in wide as well. And, you know, this is where I low-key start getting toted on. I don't know how or when. We decided to shoot the gap and get a nice suction tackle. But, you know, I was forced to, you know, shift my D-line over. So, you know, sometimes when you got to stop the base, you got to play it like that. Um, right here, he goes play action once more. And another running back tight end route. My user was super freaking sleepy right there. I was more looking at, like, everything on the field, seeing if the uh, pass rush is going to come in. And I just completely looked away from that. And, yeah, that was a big bra moment. It's right here. We don't even shift our D-line. That's how you know we're not even paying attention. He ends up getting, like, five yards out of that. And here we go. We do shift our D-line this time. But, you know, it's not always a guarantee that you're going to stop it. And great stick work. He stunts on us again, but I can't even hate. That's one thing about, you know, not having the speed burst is sometimes you're just going to have to sell out and dive. And, you know, all I could say was a great cutback, man. He cut back right where my user should have been. Ends up getting a seven. So, you know, that was a great drive. He converted. Oh, my God. I can't believe I gave up like a third and 25. Uh, it's all good, though. You know, um, we could easily fight back. The one thing I have an issue is I have one timeout only. So this is going to be a little tough. It's right here, guys. Up top, Randy Moss once more. Cover four beater. And, you know, that was just a simple bunch trail post. I have outside apprentice on Moss. As he does his signature one more time. Randy Moss might just be my best player on offense. Uh, it's either definitely him or Josh Allen. And just a great bounce back drive. Um, he, like I said, he just sends a lot of three man rushes, a lot of two man rushes. It's right there. There goes my red zone play. The vertical is a little wheel route. You, uh, I could have easily lowballed that, but I didn't even have to. 
uh, that's how wide open it was. And just like that, man, a three-point game. So, you know, this game was looking real defensive in the first half. Now, all of a sudden, you know, we're popping off one-play touchdowns, a lot of points. Sorry if you took the under. I mean, the under is probably still going to hit because, you know, Madden over-unders in this year's game are probably set like 75, 60, or whatever it may be. But, you know, this game right here, you know, we played a little bit of defense. It's right here. That's what the send five look is supposed to do if they send everyone out. Charles Woodson just gets ran over. But I'm not too mad because we are only going to be down. We're only down by three. If he ends up even scoring a field goal, you know, I have a money drive to get seven. Just no touchdowns, no sevens, and we have ourselves a ball game. And we can obviously get a stop right here too. It's right here. This is real sus run D. But, you know, base doesn't really pop off against 146 like that, if I'm being real. Maybe inside zone will, but, you know, I feel like 146 actually, for once, has good run D versus uh, three wide receiver trips. Obviously, if they audible down to two one twos, I can't really, you know, say what it's looking like for that. It's right here. Good, easy read. I wasn't able to put my purple out there. That was just a 20 cloud. And honestly, I don't know how, but he bagged that for only, what, four yards? It's right here. you got to watch out for the run. And he ends up passing, and everything is bad. Great defense, Jesse Bates. I don't care if we didn't pick it off. I'll take it. You see, like, I needed a pick right there, but, you know, at least he didn't catch it. There's been instances where people have just straight dunked on me, bro, in that in scenario. And Jesse Bates definitely does get ag sometimes. But here we go, man. Play of the game. He, there's no way he runs right here. Cover three look for the first time. Charles Woodson, Sir Charles on the user and that's just a great user. The pressure came in clean. I'm going to rewind that real quick. So right here, guys, I'm going to run a cover three look on the left with a five hook or whatever this is going to be, a hook, and then a hard flat right here. We're going to get on Charles Woodson. Send the pressure. Five-man heat. Boom. Great user by Charles Woodson. He may have had that curl route low-key um, because it was only a five, but the thing is I had Diablo there. So if you wanted to test Diablo in a five, you know, it would have just came down to who got it, man. If Diablo would have reacted or if he would have, or if he would have, you know, converted that fourth down. And right here, I don't know what happens, but um, sometimes like when I'm like, okay, I got to make this last drive. I want to clock. I play too timid and I, it just comes back to hurt me, man. Um, I honestly should have been just thinking, you know what? Let's get seven. Let's get seven. Let's get seven is right here. R1 is completely wide open. Please throw it. That's the only button on the field that was covered, Pav. Literally, like both the streak and the wheel route, I'm never throwing that. R1 was open. A was kind of open. That honestly looked a little open, but that's not the read. I have someone else wide open, man. Mike Haynes glitches for him. I don't know if that's clutch trade or not. And oh my God, all that hard work to get a stop just to throw it away on a bad read. And that's what I'm talking about, man. I'm making a couple bad reads a game and they come back to haunt me. And I got to just become a robot, man. That's that's the motto that we're going to live by for, you know, this next tournament and all the other tournaments coming up. Be a robot. You know, don't make mistakes. Be a robot. And yeah, man, now we only have to one time out. We can easily get seven. Like I said, spamming was not playing great defense at all. Everything's open besides the red zone. 15 to 26, though, like, pfft, I'm beating myself right now, man. This is This is looking rough. Uh, you know, I'll take a 15 for 26. The issue is I have three interceptions. It's right here. Nice little playmaker to the inside. Cordero. Get hit. And if we could somehow get us play or score before the two-minute warning, that'd be crucial. That'd be clutch. It's right here. It's not going to let me call hype, unfortunately. I probably should have spiked that. But, you know, it is first and goal. Like, it's tough, man. Like, it's tough to score down here, especially at a bunch, especially at a Colts. It's right here. We're going to try to roll out. And corner rod is wide open. Maybe that's what I got to do a little bit more. Just roll out and make something happen. It, oftentimes, people would like contain, hold you in the pocket. They blitz. They do all this type of stuff. And, you know, right here, I'm thinking, you know what? Maybe I could go for it and, you know, cut it down to a two-point game. That way, if we do get ball back somehow, miraculously, uh, we could win off a field goal. But I'm like, you know what? It's just not worth it. Just kick your PAT and play D. All right, guys, we held him first two plays. He ran the ball, but look at the zone drops we set. We're going to set, uh, let's see, 15, 5, and 5, and you're, we're going to run a cover two look. I know, obviously, all this is showing, but I want to see show you what I see. I'm guarding this left side heavy. I have a 5 right here if, you know, he wants to throw this flat. I'm jumping to the right, and he's going to go back to his patented P 
PA play. Ronnie Locke! GG, you know, I'll take it. He had the flat open. And that's kind of what I wanted, honestly, man. I wanted it to be a 50-50 play. You never know. Acrobat could go, you know, on crack and pick that off next time. Um, but, you know, we'll live for another game, you know. GG's just spamming. Had many opportunities in this game. He ended up losing to Ghost in the final finals of FNF. But, you know, like I said, I played really good this whole tournament. And, you know, we probably still should have won this game with all the mistakes we made. Um... That one crucial mistake was the pick six. You know, you just can't do that. Till next time, guys. Hopefully you enjoy this gameplay. I actually had a lot of fun playing in that tournament and, you know, just watching and breaking down the film. Got some high-level games coming up very soon, so be on the way for that. And, yeah, man, I'll catch you next time. Take it easy, guys. Much love, y'all.